Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I am Bruce Murphy. Okay, so we've just paid for everything. And got the stuff in the basket at the front. And we'll just head home. I'll take this mask off and try out of here. Ah. It's always kind of exhausting to do it, but it is also a very good thing. So just get past there. Just about. Alright, so we'll stop up here to for me to take the mask off so my voice isn't as muffled. And I'll have a little drink because all we're going through there is quite exhausting. Talking to all of you helps. Makes it actually a little bit easier, so I'll get rid of the mask. Put them in the back in its pocket where it goes. Ah. Have a drink. And put the drink back in there in its holder. Get ready to Head down, turn on everything, turn on that, turn the power to maximum on the vehicle, and bingo. Of course I've got full, got the full CAT 3 DVLA thing and the, and the registration number for the vehicle now, so I can go on the pavement and that's right easily. So this is like me trying out a lot of bits and pieces that I've bought to see how my body handles them. but I'm going to wait until the light goes. I'm in no rush. It's amazing how much talking to all of you helps settle my nerves when sometimes when I'm out here. I mean, being on the Quingo is amazing. I absolutely fucking really love it. better when I've got another layer of coping strategy going. It's amazing how, how this has all become the norm.
I am in the rush. Sometimes I like, like just hanging around places. Looks like we might get rain later. Now this is one I can cross quite happily because it's actually a one way <laughs> and as long as I can see into the distance there's nothing coming Cut onto the road here, even though that big thing is in the way, we should still be okay. Let's just crop, get down here. This is so much better than me than a car. To think I was going to go have a car instead and go through all that. I don't know, I wouldn't be able to do it. This part of it is so much easier and so much quicker now I can go on the road. I mean, I know I can probably stay on the road for most of it. That guy should not be parking there, it's a double yellow line. And this road just does not have the width for having someone park like, like that. Turn the corner and go up here. This road's a little bit rougher. And then we get onto the main thingy for going up the hill. Off we go, up the hill, beep beep.
keep to the side of the road, some people can pass me. I'm sure nothing's coming that way. And then I pop onto the pavement here. I could stay on here, but I do prefer doing this last part on the actual pavement. So we turn off the lights and we slow down the vehicle. Yeah, it's nice and quiet today. I think a lot of the protests and that have stopped in this area, which is good. Now I want to go and see actually if there's, they've removed the temporary barrier on this um, little bit of road here and see if I can get around the outside without going through the centre. I don't think we can still, I think that bit of road there is just very, very far better if I go this way. I know you're not supposed to go off here, but this is the only way that's safe for me to get that bit so one way but I keep to the very edge and cross over the bit. Right. So I did put a pretty big shop actually. So I'll say goodbye to you all soon and I will upload these videos when I get home. A nice little ride around here. I love the amount of power this vehicle has when you need it. So I could try making some burgers and see how my body handles burgers. But yeah, I mean, my body handles processed meats better than chicken I can handle, turkey I can handle in its pretty much unprocessed form. But anything else, let's see, I have a I can have the um, processed ham sometimes, but if I try to have ham, a proper roast ham, gorgeous, I love the taste of a properly done honey roast ham, that will murder my stomach and gastric system. And same with um, burgers, I mean Tesco does those really nice ones that are basically just steak and a little bit of salt and herbs. And that's it, all they are, just minced up, chunky. If I try to eat those, it's horrible. But the ones that are processed, and more like a McDonald's type thing, I can handle better. It isn't something I would eat every day. You have to be very careful. I can handle it somewhat. Ooh, they've added lots of plants here. And more plants than that are good. How are we going? 
Happy me. Beep beep. So I'll stop in a little bit and say goodbye to you. Or I hope you will have a wonderful day. I hope your day is splendid. Have a nice day and to have a reason to smile. And this has been Jason on his Quingo scooter going around. So, bye bye.